that's pulled out of this here with the aid of my little friend Gerald. And we go to the next stage here, you can see I'm starting to apply another transparency on top of this transparency to apply the muscles. Okay? See the muscle being applied there? And then next slide. You see I'm starting to colour in the muscles. Here, using the textbooks as well, so I've color coded. Uh, I've taken Richet's anatomical textbook and I've color coded it so as to understand it better, and then apply it. And once I've done that with the whole body, then I approach the drapery. So you can see the skeleton there is underneath, <laughs> and then I've uh, superimposed the drapery so as to understand the drapery on top of forms below. So that's the whole musculature worked out. And so here you have the original drawing, you have the skeleton underneath with the drapery on top, and then you have the musculature underneath. Now here you have the musculature underneath the drapery. And then a drawing. Each other. So here you have the skeleton, then you have musculature and drapery underneath. So these are all applied in different ways. So here you can see very clearly the original drawing. You have the skeleton underneath, you have the musculature on top, and then the drapery. And the, other, the other reason I do this is so as people can understand what it takes to do a drawing like this. You must understand this, this, and this. Okay. different versions of this so as to illustrate it clearer. Now this one you can get a bit closer, you can see the skeleton underneath, you see the musculature here and then the drapery on top. And this gives you an understanding of what goes on inside the minds of these great masters. What kind of understanding you have to have of the body to really pull off a great masterpiece. And this is only the linguistic aspect. I use this to penetrate the meaning from which it comes from. So there's also a whole philosophical and theological understanding of the human person behind this language, which is very interesting. And uh, it's, it's ignored by a lot of uh, art historians today. So this is the drawing, and this is what's underneath. Put them together. We're nearly finished here. That just gives you an overview of how the, the language is applied to a great master. Okay, so that's, that's everything. So Francesco Pavoni has a, an idea. Okay, so uh, good morning everybody. First of all, let me thank the organizers for giving me this, such a fantastic opportunity. And uh, uh, I would like just to start presenting me. And uh, let me start with the... Uh, the idea of interdisciplinarity. I'm, I'm working at the European Laboratory for Learning and Spectroscopy. And this is my fantastic group of fantastic people. I'm very honored to work with them. And uh, uh, this is uh, a very interdisciplinary group because uh, in this group we have uh, uh, biologists, uh, we have uh, biotechnologists, we have physicists, we have engineers. And uh, we have also the great opportunity to work uh, with a wider uh, group of medical doctors. Uh, there are some good friends of mine here today. And, um, and I think this is one important point we would like to stress in this kind of conference, which is the interdisciplinary. Um, I'm, I'm, working, I'm working in the field of uh, uh, biophotonics. Uh, and biophysics, which is the field which conjugates somehow, somehow the, the light with the biological matter. Uh, trying to understand by using the light, how does it work, the biological matter. And I, I think there are huge uh, interactions and uh, uh, huge common points between uh, an artist and a scientist. And uh, what we're trying to do today is just, uh, a, a, just a talk between each other. And then I, I also would like it. Uh, uh, to have your intervention in this uh, in this talk, 
um, on what are the common points and which is the final goal and uh, the, how, the how and why. Uh, these are the two, two points we would like to answer today, how and why. So let's come back to what I'm doing and um, I'm working on, the, on the molecules, um, I'm working on cells, I'm working on tissues and on tissues I'm working specifically on brain and skin and uh, the way I'm doing this is by using light, by using lasers and um, I'm going to use, I'm used to, to, to adopt lasers to image, to interrogate, to investigate, to understand uh, the morphology and the function. And these are two other important points I would like to pass. Morphology is the symmetry, is the shape. The function is the meaning. So shape and meaning, there will be two very important points I would like to discuss with, uh, with Tony in a few minutes. Um, just to give you a brief example, this is a work I did uh, with, uh, uh, with uh, a colleague and a friend uh, who is sitting in front of me now uh, on dermatology. We work it together, we are working together to, unreal, to understand uh, the morphology and the function of a very important uh, piece of art, which is the skin. Uh, it's a natural piece of art, but it's one of the richest piece of art probably existing. I don't know, I think Torello can, uh, can, uh, uh, can, be, uh, can agree on this. And uh, what we are doing, we are trying to understand with, uh, with the lasers to image the, to image the skin. Uh, you can see on the left an image with the lasers, on the right an image which is the golden standard used in dermatology, which is uh, the uh, histopathology image. Um, and then you can go deep with lasers, okay? So it's just like uh, to have a picture, okay? And with the lasers, this is also us used in, uh, let's say, in art, modern art conservation. Uh, the, 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 the artistic director, he was telling you before that with lasers it's possible to see in, uh, in, uh, in arts, uh, to see different level, uh, different deep, uh, the, 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 the art, uh, the piece of art, this is equal to, to dermatology and skin. You can go deeper uh, through 30 millions of, uh, of a meter deep into the, into the skin and, uh, and see different parts of the skin until you reach a deeper part where there is the derma, uh, where there is the collagen, where there is the elastin, which is uh, the architecture. Uh, keeping the skin in a, in a certain shape and, uh, and then you can, you can really, uh, you can really see uh, how elastin and collagen, for example, they mix up together. So, the first things, uh, and then uh, we will start talking with, with Tony, the first thing I'm, I'm, I was pretty much impressed when they asked me to talk about art and science in this conference, is uh, what should I talk about? Okay. Shall I talk about uh, uh, scientific aspects? No, I mean, I, I don't like it. Uh, I would like to, to talk, and then uh, we decided together with Donnie, not to talk about uh, technical aspects, but uh, what push us, we, what are the meanings, why we are doing this work, and how we are doing this work. And the first things I, I want to, uh, to show is, uh, uh, one of the biggest, probably, uh, let's say, uh, common points, which is uh, visual arts. Um, I can tell you before going to this, is that you 